Hello Christina, hello Across One Sky. This week we are going to answer some questions that we found on the terrifying website that is Tumblr. And just because some of you are new, question one is name your top three music artists and a song that you like from each one. Um, The Beatles and something, Laura Marling and Failure and Bob Dylan with Don't Think Twice It's Alright. Question two, did you have a problem with fitting in? I don't know why that's in past tense. It could also be, do you have a problem with fitting in? Um, School-wise, I think I was very, very lucky, and I was saying this recently, I was very lucky with my school experience because I live in a small town. I went to a smallish primary school, and then most of the people in my primary school went to high school with me. So I had the same best friends, and I was always, I've always been known since I was very small as a very kind of studious, nerdy person. And um, so everybody knew that about me, and I was able to take that into high school, and nobody really batted an eyelid. And I was very lucky, you know, I never had any major bullying or anything. So I think I, I fitted in with, you know, who I wanted to fit in with. I guess I could have been more sort of bookish and stuff if I'd wanted to be but I I was happy so that's that's good and now where I work um yeah I just that's just a second home to me really I get to wear Wellington boots and I get to be all messy. Number three what do you think of those people from this generation that claim they don't belong here? Sorry I talked very fast there. Um people who say they belong in the 70s or the 80s or whatever um it's just, it's pop culture really, isn't it? I mean, you're basing that on, I could very easily say that I want to be around when Beatlemania was happening because um, the, the media from the time would show that it was very exciting, but there's other aspects of living in that generation that I know I wouldn't enjoy. And I think those people would miss a lot of things if they were to travel back in time, namely their laptops and Tumblr. Number four, name three things that are physically close to you. Number one, whoops, number one is Bruce Springsteen's new album Wrecking Ball, which is super good, and I bought it for eight pounds, which is also quite good. Number two, actually, I'm not gonna show you, but it's right underneath the lens of my camera. My camera has a long lens, and when I set it on my windowsill, it gets kind of off balance, so I have to prop the lens up. And I do that with a head girl badge. I got a head girl badge, and that's an awful way to treat it. Number three, I'm trying to think of something interesting. This little troll person, she's always just watching me make videos. Do you drive? If so, have you crashed? I can drive. I have a driver's license. I've had it for over a year, year and a half nearly. Um, but I don't drive legally because insurance is very expensive in this country and I can't afford it. And I've never crashed, no. Um, what was the last movie you saw? I saw the five-year engagement at the weekend and it was quite good. It was very long, but there were some funny moments. Um, let me know if you've seen it. What do you find repulsive about society? Repulsive, I love that word. Um, I hate celebrity culture. I hate the whole obsession with people who are famous for doing very, very little. And just seeing magazine front pages and newspaper headlines just bothers me. What's your ringtone? My phone is always on vibrate, so I don't have a ringtone. But the last phone I had, um, I had the same ringtone for about three years and it was Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons with Big Girls Don't Cry. I don't know if you know that song but it's amazing. It goes ba da boom boom ch 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 Big Girls Don't Cry. How many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. I have two older brothers. One is a year and a half older than me and the other one is 25, nearly 26. Do you colour your hair? I don't colour my hair. I haven't coloured my hair in about a year and a half, probably a bit longer actually. Um, I've been a few colours. The first time I dyed it, it went a weird reddish brown and then I was blonde for over a year. Um, and then I just went to not dyeing it and it was a great decision. So that's my advice, don't dye your hair, it's fun. Um, tell me something you're planning to do today. I have no plans for today, I'm not working tonight. So I'll tell you what I did do today. Today I went to school. Um, I went to see, I talked, I have talked about my favourite ever teacher in the history of the world probably a few times in videos and she is retiring so I went to give her a retirement gift and that was very nice and very emotional and then my dad and I went and had coffee and then we went to a builder's yard because that's what we do for fun. When was the last time you cried? Um, I'm not entirely sure but it's quite easy to make me cry books and films and sad songs will make me cry so it really wasn't that long ago. What is your eye colour? My eyes are blue. <laughs>
I'm sorry, that was probably terrifying. Final question is to grab the book nearest to you, turn to page 23 and read me line 17. This is such a stereotypical Tumblr thing. Page 23. The book is Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. It's a sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and it's very good. So 23. And the, the sentence just says, Stop! screamed ground control. Oh, this is a very good book, it's very funny. Uh, last night, Christina, last night I had a dream. It was a very strange dream. There was a small boy, he was about seven years old, but he was completely lethal. He was a danger, he was a threat to society, and he was a threat to us. And his father was there, and his father had this large machine gun, and he was going to shoot his own son, because that's how dangerous he was. Christina, you were there, and I was there, and lots of people I didn't know were there, and lots of people I did know, and... I just remember the, the dad just sitting in the corner of a, a wall outside with his giant gun and the rest of us had to hide because his son was on the loose and he would kill anybody he came into contact with. So we all went and hid. I hid in the roof space of a building in the attic. But um, afterwards, when everything was safe, I went to you, Christina, and I said, oh, hey, where did you hide? And you said, oh, I just hid in a... The wall kind of went went in, if you know what I mean. So you were kind of covered, but if someone walked past you, you would have seen you. And I says, Christina, that wasn't a very good hiding place. And you says, yes, I know, but I put a charm on the wall so you couldn't see me. So Christina, in my dream, you surpassed your muggle lifestyle. Congratulations, and I will see you on Friday. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.